If you thought seeing the ogres canoodling on the beach push the boundaries of children's She's entertainment, that pussy imagine for a picnic. On the block, pull up, skirt, skirt. Where you at? Where you at? You a kid, bitch, I sit you on my lap. Talking tough, we was never in the lap. I'm on the block, pull up, skirt, skirt. Where you at? Ass fat, they like, damn, what is that? What is that? Black cars pushing pieces to the mat. Hey. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. Up next, we got 10 animated movies where characters actually did it. Ew, 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 ew. I can't fucking wait. So, we're gonna get into it. 10 animated movies where characters actually did it. We're gonna see, because, like, people can't, like, let cartoon characters be cartoon characters no more. Like, you literally have to sit down and watch what the hell your kids watch before they even watch it, if that makes sense. Like, they got crazy shit up in cartoons. So, we're gonna... We gonna see what this shit about. This shit smell that like my head around one. I get it. This shit about be love naked. scenes are nothing new in movies. The Fifty Shades of Grey series doesn't even feel like pushing the boundaries anymore. But if there's one area where characters connecting in all different ways has been rarely explored, it's animation. Over the years, there have been a handful of animated movies to feature characters hooking oh, up, showing a little skin, and changing the way we look at cartoons forever. From Disney classics to R-rated comedy romps, check out some animated movies where characters actually did it. The Simpsons movie. Nothing like a trip to Alaska to spice up your love life a little bit. Unfortunately for Homer and Marge, the alone time in an Alaskan cabin was just a distraction from the fact that their whole family had been banned from Springfield for producing too much pig waste and having the whole town quarantined. This is the plot that sets the Simpsons movie into motion and leads to a whole new adventure in the snowy state. Inspired by Disney films like Cinderella and Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, Homer's moves to entice his wife begin with a montage of animals busting into the cabin. Along with singing a romantic hum, yeah, these animals sexy. proceed to undress the couple and prepare them for their long night together in the cabin. Ooh. After a long struggle with Homer's Boy. shirt, Marge joins him in bed, and the animals decide to... Five-hour tea with caffeine from green tea leaves. Damn, with zero <laughs> sugar and four <laughs> calories stay and watch. A seemingly common theme among animated love scenes. The highlight of it all is seeing the small Bambi-like deer get a little wide-eyed, displaying a literal deer-in-the-headlights look before its father covers his eyes from the entanglement of yellow bodies laying before them. Oh, this is Team America, <laughs> World Police. <laughs> you would think that the love scenes between the devil and Saddam Hussein from South Park Bigger, Longer, and Uncut would be the obvious choice in our list, but Trey Parker and Matt Stone's Team America, World Police kicks things up a notch in a big way. The not-actually-animated puppet movie features a love scene so graphic, the MPAA originally rated it NC-17, and content had to be cut down several times. The setup to the scene, like nice. it even matters, we're talking about puppets here. Anyway, the the setup involves Gary and Lisa sharing a romantic moment as he promises her he will never die. These puppets try positions we've never heard of, and the character designs, close-ups of feet, and craziness of it all will never make you look at regular Barbie dolls the same again. Fuck, In no. fact, the scene is so graphic, we're pretty much just showing you random- But most kids, most kids, they play with Barbie dolls like that, let's be honest. You know you walked in your kids, and they got the Barbie dolls act like they're humping or they're either kissing. Let's be honest. I mean, but this shit, this shit is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Clips from other parts of the movie. We imagine Margot Robbie's Barbie movie will not have anything similar to this craziness. And even though moviegoers watching the puppet love on the big screen got to see a lot, the full unrated scene was made available with the home video release and featured a lot more fluid. Nothing like some extended puppet bedroom action to help sell some DVDs. Right. Cool World. Remember the great trend of blending live-action films with the world of animation? It started off with the landmark Who Framed Roger Rabbit, and probably should have ended there. But alas, other production companies tried to feed off Roger's success, and the Brad Pitt movie Cool World was released in 1992. Clearly the adult Probably. version of Who Framed Roger Rabbit, the main female, Hollywood, makes Jessica Rabbit feel like something that belongs on Disney Junior. Voiced and played by Kim Basinger, Hollywood wants to become human. She must break the biggest rule of all in Cool World. No human and animation fornication. Hollywood pushes the limits of the PG-13 rating as she seduces Jack Deeps, hey, a cartoonist who helped- a slut slut animated person. What the fuck? Bring Cool World to life. With sound effects that would make you wish you were wearing headphones while watching, Hollywood puts on a full show in the extended scene. 
Quick cutaways prevent anything from becoming too graphic. And once again, we meet a group of cartoon characters who want to watch the whole thing. Wow. And even smoke cigarettes afterwards. <laughs> what is with these cartoons trying to break wow. free from their clean-cut, colorful world? And witness anything she just to spice things on. up? Robin Hood. Disney's Robin Hood took a lot of liberties with their original story. One of the most obvious being replacing human characters with groups of animals. Robin Hood and Maid Marian are both foxes from 1973 animated film. The couple get close very quickly and even share their own romantic musical montage. Romantic montages are nothing new for Disney. You can't forget Ariel and Eric's romantic boat ride or Belle and Beast's romantic dance. But there are a lot of subtle moments in the Robin Hood montage which hint at much, much more than just holding hands. The first is the song playing in the background. This is one Disney sing-along you don't want the kids belting out in the next family Neither road trip. One not. of the key lines talks about being all grown up inside of me. And on screen, we see the foxy couple Run. heading off underneath a waterfall as we get blocked by the crashing for a few moments. If the Disney movie warranted a sequel, we would probably have seen some new baby foxes hopping around. The Fox Baby and the Hound. And now around. we transition from a couple of frisky foxes to another couple of frisky foxes. This time around, the foxes are in a more natural state, but there's still a song to go over their swooning. Todd and Vixie quickly connect with each other, rubbing on each other, getting acquainted in the forest. And speaking of Vixie, the name Vixen literally means female fox, and could also be alluded to her feisty behavior with Todd. Within just a few minutes of meeting each other, the two are close, connected, and ready to take it to the next step. Man, this owl sure knows <laughs> how to sing step. a seductive song. Todd makes the first obvious move by presenting Vixie with a flower, and things take a quick turn towards the romantic. Before things get too hot and heavy, we cut yeah, away to a couple of birds flower, watching and, just want flower too. and mocking the two lovebirds in the process. Bye. The bonding between Todd and Vixie continues as their dark silhouettes get close together during the closing shots of the movie. 101 Dalmatians. Man, ah, time for a Disney classic to help clean things up a bit. The classic story of 101 Dalmatians. Pongo and Perdita are a Dalmatian match made in heaven, meeting in a park one day, watching their owners marry each other. And holy cow, Perdita is already wow, pregnant. Boy, do these puppies move fast. Listen to voiceover, and Pongo <laughs> reveals they've only been together for six Fuck months. The look on Pongo's Bruh. face when she tells him she's having puppies isn't a proud father. Six months we've been it's together, and you got like a hundred fucking babies. Job. There's a lot of on-screen neck and loving glances, but Disney kept things pretty Cali. much Cali. clean in the 60s, not revealing too much. And boy, do these two seem to hook up a lot. Perdita <laughs> ends up having 101 puppies. Wait, what? Oh, hold that thought. They're not all hers. Well, how does Cruella DeVille end up finding all those other Dalmatians? <laughs> Still, Perdita may not have given birth to all 101 puppies, but her and Pongo's escapades did leave to 15 birth puppies. Still a pretty impressive number. After taking in the rest of the puppies by the end of the movie, we imagine they won't have much more alone time in the near future. Shrek 2. Shrek 2 begins with a honeymoon to remember. Babies. After the events of the first Shrek, Shrek and Fiona are now married and ready to celebrate wedded bliss. During an opening scene cute. montage many parents probably wish they were still in the popcorn line for, we see the green-skinned couple check into a hotel room bathe together and lay on They're each other at the beach. These two cannot seem to I get their hands out of each other, and the film clearly implies there's a lot of ogre loving going on. The honeymoon suite alone was one of the biggest giveaways. For further proof of their love-making adventures, you just have to look at the first scenes of Shrek the Third. Fiona reveals to Shrek she's pregnant, and we get to meet the baby ogres by the end of the movie. And if you thought seeing the ogres canoodling on the beach pushed the boundaries of children's she's entertainment, imagine our surprise when Shrek 2 reveals the big twist at the end of the movie. I In a twist feeling like an episode of Game of Thrones, the giant female dragon reveals to Donkey that they are having kids as well. Now, yeah, there's a shocking end to Shrek 2. How is that even physically mm -hmm. possible? Yeah, the Lion King. Too. There's nothing like reuniting with your childhood friend only to find your day's too. mischief Aww. have turned into pure romantic feelings where your lust is so strong you feel like a lion. Wait, these two are literally lions. What started out as an extremely <laughs> physical wrestling match quickly took a turn for the romantic as Nala puts on the most seductive face of all time. Wow, oh. let's see that again. All she gotta do is give him that look. 
the moment Box somebody knew her, she wasn't playing around anymore. And to top it all off, the reunited couple share their hey, feelings and grass the rolling with Timon from. and Pumbaa, the jungle Beauty. animals who serenade them by singing Elton John's Can You Feel the Love Tonight. And chalk another one up for the animated purveyors. <laughs> Not only do Timon and Pumbaa sing, but they creepily watch from a distance and start bawling that Simba has dropped his bros for the girl of his dreams. And if you're wondering how things went, well, a whole movie, The Lion King 2, Simba's Pride, wouldn't have been a thing if their little rainforest rendezvous didn't occur. Sausage Party. If you were wondering we all knew who Sausage exactly Party what a hot dog in. soul may be, then Sausage Party has the answer for you. Ooh, Separated crazy. for a lot of the movie, the lead hot dog in Sausage Party finally reunited with Kristen Wiig's with voice boy. But this ain't no Disney flick. The R-rated Seth Rogen comedy changes the way you'll look at food forever. Hello, During an extended love scene which pushed all the boundaries of animation, the passionate love between hot dog and bun inspires everyone else to get in on the action. Seemingly Ooh. with any other food that it's about to be an orgy. On. So now the other characters are not watching, but joining in. There's a taco, a Twinkie, and multiple <laughs> packages of food you never expected. Once Great. again, here's some PG shots from the movie. You're gonna have to stream this one on your own to see all the food love making in action. The crazy scene is pretty graphic, but probably isn't even the most shocking scene in the film. Just hope this doesn't take place in the grocery store that you usually booty. shop at. Bruh, buns. Phew. That was a whole lot of Man, it. that shit was funny, bruh. Um, I have never seen the Seth Rogen movie. Um, whatever it's called. But I do want to go watch it, though. I know it's old, but I have not watched one or two. I think it's the number two. I don't know. But animated is crazy. You like, you got to pick what your kids watch now. Sometimes they can't even watch cartoons. It's like, grow up or don't fucking watch shit. Okay? And they can't grow. We got to keep them little, okay? So if you guys like this, make sure you like hit that red one. This was so crazy. Um, And be good, y'all. Be good. Don't be out here just fucking anything because that's nasty. You're going to get STDs, infections, and I don't want none of that for none of y'all, okay? Stay clean, stay clean, stay protected. Y'all jumped off at of the porch late. I was already in a rental. Uh, Early bird get the worm and it won't wait. Yeah. It is all getting sentimental. Yeah. Remember I was working while you hosted home.